came into the race with seven riders, and the you know Brent Bookwalter and myself were kind of designated as you know going for the, the overall for the for the finale. And, and honestly, the other five guys just really sold out and, and did a great ride today. It was I, I didn't really have to lift, lift a finger except for on Paris Mountain the last couple times, and, and uh, I was pretty you know it was. It was it really made the race possible for me to, to be able to do what, what I was least attempted to do because uh, without you know without the teammates like that it would have been there would have been a lot of pressure because it was kind of a it's a bit of a uh, goofy day there's a lot of you know a lot of soft pedaling and kind of coasting going on and breakaways that went away and looked really promising that it didn't really amount to anything and other stuff that didn't look that promising. It seemed pretty dangerous. It ended up being pretty dangerous. So it was, uh, you know, it was, you know, it was a kind of a typical national championship. And then, Doug, uh, some perspective. You know, this is one of the races, certainly for uh, anybody, any American racer that they want to win. But what makes it extra, extra special for you? Um, you know, just the the chance to to be able to wear the uh, the, the jersey for the year. Um, you know, it's it's the only race. Besides, you know, like the World Championships or the Olympics, where you get to kind of fold something for the season, and uh, so it's really, you know, it's, it's something that you know I've really always wanted to do. I've always wanted to win a national championship, and uh, you know, came close. Really laid it out on the line today, and didn't, you know, didn't came short. But uh, um, can't really be ashamed of how it, how it ended up because it didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't hold anything back at all. Um, you know, it's just uh, it's it's also to be able to win the national championship is a great. You know, it's, it's nice to you tell your grandparents. You know, they they understand that, and so it's and, you know to me that's a that's kind of a tangible thing that, that people that don't necessarily fall cycling can understand. So it's it's pretty motivating that way. I can describe the wall of sound you hit about 500 meters uh, to go, and obviously it's a pro handicap crowd here in, in Greenville. Uh, but what was it like? Uh, you, do you feel that momentum? Especially with uh, the type of uh, response, you know, in the last five hundred years there. Well, I definitely noticed them in the last few four, but in the last, I'll tell you, the last kilometer, I was full gas, <laughs> so I didn't hear much. I just feel my legs were on fire. Um, but the, when I was able to post them up with twenty-five years ago, then I really heard it. Uh, I was really excited. Questions? George, when did you, uh, at the end of the race, when did you begin feeling like it was yours? Did you ever feel like I didn't. I mean, Jeff had put in a great attack, um, and uh, I saw that the guys behind that I was with were on the limit. Uh, so I attacked with a K to go. Unfortunately, was able to catch Jeff right at the end. He he did an awesome move. Um, you know, I felt good today. I think I was I did I rode an aggressive race. I attacked on the third lap up the climb. I attacked the last time up the climb. Um, I've been training really hard at home. I, I did. Uh, I broke my record by 20 seconds uh, last week up the climb, which I, I hadn't break, broken in six years. So it was a good indication that I was going good up, up the climb at least. But uh, obviously, you can never tell because I haven't raced in five weeks. Broke my collarbone four days ago from the tour, and that was the last. Uh, the tour was the last bike race I did. But I tried to stay fit. I tried to stay focused, and it really paid off. Did you say it broke a six-year-old record for you? Yeah. George, can you take us back to that last lap of Paris Mountain and talk about? the attack that made that final smaller selection? Um, well, Craig Lewis did a, a, a great pace in the first uh, K and a half. And then, um, actually, um, Phil Zajac attacked. And he went really hard. And I think that made it a uh, select few guys. And then I attacked after after that. And I got away with one other guy. And I had maybe five or 10 seconds on these guys. Um, but it was a long way to go alone. And uh, they caught right back up right after the, the first little downhill. Uh, and then we, we started working together fairly well. We had a group of nine guys chasing hard behind, so we knew that we had to, we could we could never let up. So fortunately, everybody cooperated quite well until the last lap. How important was it to have Craig out there? No. It was important. I mean, you know, what happened last year, we rode pretty easy the first three laps up the, up the race. Uh, which makes a big difference in the outcome of the finish because at the, after the last climb, there was 30 guys left and there was a bunch of attacks. Uh, Craig did a great pace uh, the third time up and then I attacked. So that really put, a, put the hurt on people and their, their legs weren't as fresh. The last time up, 
as you saw, there was only what, five, six guys at the top, um, which makes a big difference because if there's five or six guys at the top like last year, but then 30 guys come back, then it's a whole different race. Uh, you know, as, as for me, not having any teammates, like, it's impossible to control 30 guys, but with five guys, fortunately, I was able to pull it off. When did Craig let you know he was going to race today? Uh, I knew a couple of days ago, Friday. Again, in front of your family in particular, and just all the support from the crowd. Yeah, it was, it's, it's very uh, emotional for me. I mean, it's my, my hometown. You know, I, I always tell everybody how great this city is, and uh, uh, not even winning, but just having the national championships here in my hometown is special. But uh, to be able to, to win with all that pressure, I mean, I had the whole city wanting me to win. It's a, it's a great feeling once it's done. Before, it's not such a great feeling because you're, you know, you're, you're stressing out about the race. But uh, I'm, I'm really glad it worked out. Jeff, you mentioned earlier that there was a lot of soft pedaling and coasting out there. It sounded like the first maybe half or two-thirds of the race was a bit disorganized. Um, talk about what that does to the race and, and the difficulty that that brings to the race when, when no one's really taking the onus to, to lead the chase. It makes it really stressful <laughs> for me. You know, it's just there's a lot of like, oh, geez, you know, what's going to happen? How, why, you know, who's, you know, is someone going to run away with this thing? And, uh, so that makes it difficult. Um, in some ways, it was nice because, you know, for me, even though it was stressful, I also knew that I could count on my teammates. And um, so, actually, a lot, the, a lot of the, this kind of the easy riding really gave me a chance to, you know, eat and drink, which that doesn't necessarily happen. You know, if the race is really hard, but especially when it's hot, like it was. Um, you know, but. Again, it was kind of interesting because it, there was a lot of kind of coasting and stuff, but the, the, the climbing, like George said, was a lot harder this year. Um, you know, there's he, you know, he, he and, and Craig and, and you know, a couple guys really made it a lot more difficult, which was uh, you know nice to see. And it was great to you know it was made the race a lot more uh, you know, selective, which was nice. So maybe some of that coasting actually sort of put more focus on the climb and then made us ride it a, a lot harder because there's that's where you can make the difference. Um, whereas, you know, if, if the kind of the race stays together on the flats and, you know, and everyone rides really hard on the flats, it's, you end up getting to the climb and everyone's a little more gassed and so then you may ride the, ride the climb a little bit easier. So it kind of actually worked to, uh, obviously it worked to George's favor, but it, I think it worked well to the, to the breakaway's favor yeah. in the, end, the way, you know, the final split. George, given the circumstances, was today's victory more satisfying than your previous two? Uh, well, the first one was also very special. It was the first first time that the race was in uh, in Greenville, so it was uh, it was pretty similar. I mean, uh, that I knew that I was I had a good shape there though because I had almost one Enico Tour the week before. Uh, just I had a crash some 50 meters from the line, so I didn't win it, but I knew that my shape was really good. But you know, here I knew that I was climbing well, but I just didn't know how I would react after you know a five-hour bike race without racing for five weeks. So it's just as it's just as special for me, just as important for sure. So Jeff, can you talk about what was going on with the, the risky was off to front for lap after lap after lap? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think he was just trying to put the pressure on the other teams, take pressure off his teammates. Um, he really earned that thing, though. Like, I don't know how he stayed away because he went away immediately, and then we were not going slow. Uh, he, was, he was racing it like it was a crit, and it was like the last 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> he, you know, he did a, like a pretty impressive early time trial effort just to just to make himself stay out there, and then and then we kind of backed off. But it was like I just couldn't believe he didn't come back. <laughs> Those first three laps were almost as much as the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were they were really fast and. Uh, you know, that's just, just, again, just a sign of how strong Dave is as, you know, an individual rider. It's like, it was pretty impressive. But you could tell it hurt him because once he came back, he came back pretty quick. <laughs> you know, I was a little nervous, like, oh, geez, maybe Dave's really on a tear. But I think he really, he spent it all just to make it stick. And, you know, and it was good because it took a lot of pressure off the Garmin guys. Um, and it, and it you know, made, put a little more, you know, pressure on, on the rest of the teams.